Hey, hi all. In this video, we will be discussing about uh, what is SOQL and what is SOSL in Salesforce and how we can use SOQL and SOSL in Salesforce to retrieve data from our Salesforce SOC. So let's start. First, just a brief introduction about what is SOQL and SOSL. So SOQL stands for Salesforce Object Query Language. If we want to query any Salesforce object, we use SOQL and then we have SOSL in so SOSL stands for Salesforce Object Search Language. Whenever we want to search any Salesforce object, we use Salesforce Object Search Language that is SOSL. So if you have built a custom UI for Salesforce and you want to retrieve data from Salesforce organization, then you can use SOQL or SOSL. A SOQL query is equivalent of select SQL statement and searches the org database. So there are some conditions while using SOQL you are very well aware like from which object you want to query that data. So that's why it's a query language. You will be querying uh, a record in an object which you are aware like the data will reside in. Okay. SOSL is a programmatic way of performing a text based search against the search index. In SOSL, we are not very sure like where the data will be. We just know the keyword or the search term and we use SOSL to get all the data data related to that particular keyword from the fields of, of uh, the one object or might be multiple objects we can use whether you use SOQL or SOSL depends on whether you know which objects or fields you want to search plus there are some other considerations to it so when you use uh, SOQL, you know in which object the data resides in and you want to retrieve data from a single object or from multiple objects that are related to one another. It can be like you want something from account object so you can query account and if you want something from contact object, you can query contact and as you know, accounts and contacts are related to each other so you can query both in a single query you can count the number of records that meet specified criteria so in soql we can use where clause to filter the results as in criteria we can sort the results as a part of the query so we can sort the results in uh, by using order by or group by a particular thing so there are group by clause and order by clause. Retrieve data from number, date or checkbox fields. So the data can be of, of any data type. It can be a name, it can be a number, it can be date or date time, or it can be a checkbox field or a pick list field. So you can retrieve all the data which is there on an object and the field data type can be anything. We use SOSL when you don't know which object or field the data resides in and you want to retrieve data for a specific term, the search term or the keyword that you know exists, exists within a field because SOSL can tokenize multiple terms within a field and build a search index for this. SOSL search searches are faster and can return more relevant results. The best example of SOSL is the global search which we have in Salesforce, the search bar in the top where we can search like any record name or any name like might be a test, might be a keyword you can search, you can click enter and you will get all the results like in which all objects that particular term is there. Retrieve multiple objects and fields efficiently where the objects might or might not be related to one another. Retrieve data for a particular division in an organization uh, using the divisions feature. Okay. Next, we have typographical conventions. So, how we write or what's the syntax of SOQL? It's 
select is a keyword reserve keyword then the field name and then the from is a reserve keyword and then the object name so this is a generic format then we can use where clause after this if we want to filter out the results if we want to narrow down uh, narrow down the results and in the same way uh, as an example we can say select name from account so it will return all the names which we have on an account in an org then sosl we have find as the reserve keyword then the field name in object name so as you can see in the example find name in account this is the uh, generic syntax which we use in further coming session of videos we will cover more about like what is where clause and how we can use that to filter the results how we can sort the results using order by clause group by clause and what are the security features which we have in sosl so in the upcoming videos uh, we will deep dive into that and for same for sosl like uh, what are the fields which we can use in sosl and uh, uh, how we can use that returning field from an object and all that stuff will be covered in the upcoming video series. so st stay tuned thank you and have a nice day let's see an example of soql and sosl in developer console so where we can write soql and sosl in uh, developer console it's so it's a dedicated tab like uh, we have to go to query editor then enter soql or sosl query so we will just first check for soql so it will be select name from account so name is the field name and account is the object name and we will hit execute so there are 16 records in on account object so 16 records have been retrieved successfully so this is an example of soql now we will see an example of sosl so in sosl the syntax is find then the keyword so in this keyword is test in fields Okay. So in which fields we want to show this? So just name fields. I will you don't execute. And as we can see, there are there is one record on contact object which has text in name field, and there are two records on account object which has text in the name field. Okay so that's why it returned two accounts and one contact so that's all thank you